I'm Dr. Frida. What do Nene Leakes, Tamar Braxton, and Kim Zolziak all have in common? They have all had blood clots in the past. What is a blood clot? Can you die from a blood clot? Keep watching. When I ask what Nene Leakes and Kim Zolziak have in common, if you've been watching this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you're probably thinking, not much. But both of these ladies have had blood clots in the past. Nene in 2013 and Kim in 2015 while she was on Dancing with the Stars. Both Kim and Nene are young, active, healthy looking women. And we know at least one of them is very rich. So why would they have blood clots? What is a blood clot? Well, blood clots cause more than 60,000 deaths in the US each year. Yet most people know very little about them. Well, today I'm going to help to change all that because over the next several minutes, I'm going to give a general overview on blood clots. A blood clot or venous thrombosis occurs when the blood clumps together and forms a clot in the vein. Because this clot usually blocks the flow of blood in the vein, it can cause a backup of blood, kind of like a traffic jam. And then this can cause pain and swelling in the extremity or the leg or wherever the blood clot is. Now, most blood clots occur in the larger, deeper veins in the legs. They're called DVTs, deep venous thrombosis. Now, the thing about these blood clots is that they can break off and they can travel to the lungs and to the heart. If a blood clot breaks off and travels to the lung, it is called a pulmonary embolism. Now, this is what Nene and Tamar Braxton had. So what puts you at risk for blood clots? The risk factors are immobility or being sedentary. So if you're a person who travels a lot, for example, and you're sitting in an airplane for prolonged periods of time, or sitting in a car for a long car trip, well, at that time, your legs are immobile or sedentary, and this puts you at risk for a blood clot. Other risk factors include pregnancy, obesity, smoking. Also, if you're taking birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy, you're at risk for a blood clot. Cancer puts you at risk. If you've had a blood clot in the past, you are at risk for blood clots. Other risk factors are heart failure, recent surgery, and some genetic diseases will predispose you to blood clots. So how do you know if you have a blood clot? Well, some symptoms include pain in the area of the clot, swelling. Now for the swelling, you can have swelling in both legs, for example, but usually a blood clot will occur in one leg at a time. So if you're looking down at your legs and one leg is swollen more than the other, you could have a blood clot. Also redness and warmth in the area of the blood clot are symptoms, and some people even get fevers with the blood clot. If this blood clot does travel to your lung, if you have a pulmonary embolism or pulmonary emboli, well then you can also become short of breath, dizzy, lightheaded, fatigued, and you can get a very rapid beating of your heart. So how do you diagnose a blood clot? Well, if you're having any of the symptoms I described, then you need to contact your doctor immediately or just go to the emergency room right away. When you get to the doctor, they can diagnose your blood clot by doing either compression, ultrasonography, or doing a Doppler to see if you have a blood clot. There are other tests as well that they can do, like CAT scans or MRIs, or even more invasive testing. If your doctor is suspicious of you having a blood clot in your lungs, then they can start off with a chest x-ray, but more specifically, they can do a VQ scan, or a specialized CT scan with IV contrast 
to see if you have a blood clot. There are also blood tests. Something called a D-dimer can be used to diagnose a blood clot. So what can you do to prevent having a blood clot? Well, one thing you can do is stay active, move your body. And if you happen to be on a plane or on a train or in a car for a long period of time, make sure you keep moving. Even if you're sitting down, you can contract your calf muscles. You can pump those muscles and keep those veins flowing. You can also move your ankles all around, point and flex your toes. Make sure that you don't allow yourself to just be sedentary for too long and that you don't allow your legs to just sit there where they can get blood clots. Also, if you're doing something like having a surgery, then your doctor will likely give you a blood thinner, certain injections for blood thinners, if you're not able to move around and stay active. In order to treat blood clots, most patients will need anticoagulation or blood thinners. This helps to prevent future blood clots as well. Depending on the type of blood clot you have, you may need more invasive therapy like thrombolytic therapy or even having a vascular surgeon to go in and to remove the clot. Or some patients just can't take blood thinners. They may already have bleeding, ulcers, or something like that. In that case, your doctor may offer you something called a filter, which will help to keep blood clots from traveling to your lung and to other places. This ends my brief overview of blood clots. Please comment down below, like my video, share my video, subscribe to my page, and tell me what else you'd like for me to discuss. Now you know what Nene, Kim, and Tamar Braxton all have in common. As for you, I want you to prioritize yourselves. Go to your doctor. Find out if you're at risk for blood clots. Pay attention to yourself and your health. Do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'll see you next time. I'm Dr. Frida.